furnace. What are the important elements? Let me go ahead, let me, let me turn this guy off. Why am I getting uh, dust just on the back side of that pipe? Dust collection. There's dust everywhere. Yeah, well, so part of it probably means what kind of pressure is there up there? Oh, okay. There's more pressure coming from the ceiling blowing the dust down in there. I, I think it's probably oh, so the other way around. I think, it's negative, I think that's okay. just a visual indication of negative pressure. Mm -hmm. okay. And that this house hasn't been cleaned in years. Yeah. Now he stuck a thing, uh, the bottom. He stuck that thing in there. Too. No, he did it on this. Oh, on, the, we, on that one? On that one. Yeah. Okay. And, and because this gauge, I mean, you can do that to find flu temperature and the gauge if, uh, if you're at steady state. Okay, so do yeah. we need to worry for, for, about for this test, that? we can do all of our what tests with, without doing okay. that. The fan inducer. <laughs> or inducer fan. fan. Okay, so let's take a look at this. What? Um, so much a Category 1 furnace. Category 1. What's that mean? It means that it has it um, is a draft. Gravity ventilation, draft ventilation. It means it's atmospherically vented. So that means as the pressure in here changes, it's going to affect how well it drafts. Okay? But it does have a fan on it. The fan just gets the air to the top of the vent, not out. It just gets it going. Yes. Okay, if it had a fan, let's say it had a fan right here. Okay? Mechanically Not mechanically assisted. It would be an actual. It would be a power vent. Power vent. A, a power vent. Okay, it's not assisted. It means that it is actually that fan is powering all the gases out. What category is that? Four. four. That becomes the category four furnace. Exactly. So the draft inducer. That draft inducer just helps it, you know, at the beginning Start to get it going. Process. But then after that, it relies on. What's that force called? That it relies on to get the yeah. gases. Stack effect, yeah. It's just the warm gases rising up to the top. Okay, just through stack effect. Um, if it has a fan, it's not worried about stack effect. Okay, okay. okay. what else do we want to? Uh, where are the burners? Down there. Down. Near you the get bottom. your burners. You, you get your gas valve. Yep. Yeah. It has a pressure. Not gas plate. Any safety features? Yeah. Okay. This backdraft um, limiter, which is called, um, what's it called? What would you call it? Uh, it stops when there's a backdraft. It stops roll out switch. Roll yeah, out switch. roll out switch, safety switch. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Another uh, safety item that's missing on this one. Was that the high temp switch? Was no. Before? Right there, there's that's usually a little back. switch oh, so that oh. if the panel's off, it won't operate. Oh, it okay. Mm -hmm. Your high temperature switches are back here. Aren't high they? temperature switch should be down close to the. Uh, okay. Uh, the back there. Yeah. Let's okay. see. Yes. Back, where are they? Exactly. They're in the, in the, in the, the back. The red wires that go back into the panel. Yes. Main limit. Um, and what's, what's, what's behind that wall? What's, what's back in here? Oh, heat exchanger. Heat exchanger. Heat exchanger. Heat exchanger. Heat exchanger. That's a blower. Um, and this one, the, yeah, the squirrel cage, well, exactly. The squirrel cage will probably be up here, though. The squirrel cage is way back there behind. It'll, it'll be behind, behind here. It'll, it'll it's be behind the blower door. Exactly. So this is your return side. Yeah. So so this unit is upside down. Upside